I'm Craig Kenneth, a relationship coach and a psychotherapist. Every relationship is different and every breakup is different. Work with me and you'll get professional help on your situation. Just click on the link in the description below or go to my website, AskCraig.net. Hi there, I'm Coach Craig Kenneth and in this video I'm going to be talking to you about why did she need space? Well, have you ever dated somebody and all of a sudden they said to you that they need space? Absolutely terrifying because in a lot of cases we know what that means. A breakup is not far away. Well, there's a lot of reasons why someone could need space. Maybe you guys are arguing, maybe they're rethinking things, and maybe there's somebody else in the picture. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about an email from a guy who's in that type of situation. Let's take a look at what's going on here. I think this is a good video for you guys. Um, the email is from a guy that's in his early 20s. His girlfriend is roughly the same age. He says, I have been dating this girl for almost a year. I met her on Facebook and she lives let's say out of state. I don't want to give the location. When we first started dating, she was devastated over a boyfriend who never paid her any attention. Okay, that's big. She's devastated over a boyfriend. Is she over him? That's important. I comforted her and we had a lot in common. We both quickly fell in love. Even though we dated, she kept me as the guy she cheated on her boyfriend with. So, she cheated on this boyfriend that she was devastated over. So that tells me that she doesn't have a lot of integrity. Okay? She was with this other guy, he was not treating her well, and instead of ending the relationship, she cheats with this guy. So, what does that look like to you? Well, to me, it looks like she was using this guy to comfort her and to calm her because she was devastated over the other guy. She eventually left him and tried dating me, but said she needed space. Soon after, she was wishy-washy and sometimes really hot for me and others really cold and made sure to let me know that even though she loved me, we were just friends. You were just friends? You guys have been dating for a year and hooking up all that time? And she's just friends? What's going on there? Sounds to me like she's not over this other guy. She's was probably waiting for her opportunity to get him back. I took her on a cruise and we made love and most days were phenomenal. When she left back to her state, she said that she wanted to room with me in my state and it all sounded so romantic. They live in different states, by the way. Next thing I know, she said she was flying to see her boyfriend first and she did. So instead of going directly to him, she goes to the ex-boyfriend. What's going on here? I th You're not the boyfriend? He's the boyfriend? Is he... I mean, what is their relationship it sounds to me like he's long distance from her as well and she's like well I'm gonna just go see both of you to kill two birds with one stone she is obviously hung up on this guy big time and you are not her priority all right he says I begged her not to go and cried and then said I was okay with it when she became upset at me. She told me she missed me and sent me pictures of him with another girl while she was there. Okay, so this girl has made the ex her priority and this guy is just backup. And then she's so hurt over the other guy, she doesn't care about how he's feeling and she sends him pictures of this dude and another girl? This situation is not healthy. 
not a healthy situation. Her and my sister talked, and from what this girl, we'll call her uh, Betty, from what Betty told my sister, that they got back together even though he treated her horribly while she visited him and he got caught cheating. So, look at the dynamics of the situation. This girl is completely hung up on a dude who doesn't even care about her at all. Meanwhile, this guy is hung, on, hung up on a girl that doesn't care about him at all. <laughs> this situation is so unhealthy for everybody involved. He cheated on her when they supposedly got back together. I mean, this dude is waiting for her to leave him to come to him. But he's cheating. This is like, we need like chess pieces here so we can line them all around and make a little map of who's going where. This is ridiculous. Okay. She doesn't know that I know she now has a boyfriend and is no longer planning to come to me but is still texting me and talking to me. This woman is so selfish and so self-absorbed and this guy has no self-esteem that he's tolerating this because he knows she's back together with the guy who is treating her like garbage and yet he is like at the bottom of all of this pile. Should I tell her I do not want to be friends anymore unless she wants something more? Well, I think you need to have some self-respect here and say, look, this situation is not okay with me. You want to be with that guy? Go be with that guy. Have at it. If it doesn't work out with him, then contact me and we'll see what happens from there. But honestly, this woman does not hold you in very high regard because if she cared about you, she would not lie to you, be deceitful to you, manipulate you, and use you as an object to comfort her. So I don't like the way she's treating you at all, and I don't like the way you're treating yourself because you cannot let this woman do this to you. She doesn't respect you. Think about it. She's been hiding things and she just keeps you, yeah, 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 I'm coming to see you, I'm coming to see you, when she has no intentions of it. Think about it. Since we were only dating and never technically got together, I guess we never technically broke up, even though she gave me all the benefits of a girlfriend, but with no title. She called me when I was a little short, but kind when I returned her call. She just texted me asking if there was something wrong and I should let her know if there is. You probably should. I don't know if I should just act okay or take that as an opportunity to tell her I no longer want to be friends or not. Well, she's not acting like a friend. She's using you. She treats you like your backup. I mean, if it doesn't work out with this guy who is treating her like absolute garbage, then she'll come and see you. So I would definitely stand up for yourself because she is never going to respect you or love you in any way because you're not respecting yourself. I love her and we've shared love and made love. I know that in time, if I don't smother her, I can make it work. I want her on the first plane back to Texas. Well, you're acting just as selfishly as she is. You're obviously completely ignoring what she wants. She doesn't want you. You're an emotional crutch. Sorry to say it, but look at her actions. She doesn't care about you. And that is not a reflection of you or who you are as a person. She obviously has a lot of trauma and abuse in her life because she's tolerating being treat mistreated so poorly. But you're doing the same thing from her. Occupying my time with school and my career in the meantime. Her mother is in an abusive relationship. what I say? And she doesn't have a good relationship with her. Her father is dying of cancer and she occasionally goes to see him. Well, that's incredibly stressful and painful. 
to watch one of your parents go through that. I don't know how close she was to her dad, but that would be very, very difficult. She was molested as a kid, and her family was very critical of her growing up. Her two biggest problems was that she said we had a relationship, is that I had to go to my parents too much, and that is very unattractive to her. And then I get too clingy to her when she doesn't even know if we will end up together. Well, if you take a look at this situation objectively, you're going to see that her behavior with you is not very good. She just doesn't seem to care about you. Her actions show it. She went to this other guy first, knowing... Now, you got to realize, she knew it, she knowingly did this. And knowingly? I don't, I, I don't know what's going on here. She knowingly knew this. She knowingly knew what she was up to. Okay? Don't think this wasn't premeditated. It was. Her plan was to go to see this guy, and if it didn't work out, then I'll go to my backup. Do you really want to be her backup? I don't think so. You hold her in high regard, which I don't know why, because her behavior is not very nice, and she's not very thoughtful or kind or considerate or sincere. I, I could go on, but why bother? I think you get the point here. You, you need to stand up for yourself, and quite honestly, I don't think this is a woman you really want to pursue anything with. That's your personal choice. I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. I just don't think that you're looking at a situation where she's going to respect you anytime soon. You have to set a strong boundary and let her know, this isn't okay by me. I want somebody who looks forward to seeing me, that puts me first, and wants me to make me a big part of their life. Now, if you guys, if you want to just keep hooking up with her, that's up to you. But I don't think that's what you're looking for based on what I'm reading here. So set a strong boundary with her and tell her what you want. She's probably not going to go for it because she's hung up on this other guy. But I think it gives you your best chance of earning her respect. And then when she decides, I need to move on, she'll probably consider you. So if you want to get my help personally, go to my website, AskCraig.net. Sign up for the coaching option that works best for you. If you like the video, throw a like on there. I do appreciate it. Be sure to subscribe to the channel because I do post videos Monday through Friday. But that's it for this video. I'm Coach Craig Kenneth, and I will talk with you soon.